Hey guys, Pat Vellner here. We're going to start doing some efficiency tips for some kind of more highly skilled movements. Today we're going to look at rope climbs and see if we can teach you guys how to be more efficient with your feet uh, and just make rope climbs a little easier for you. Now the question is where to push in the round and where to really push throughout the event. And it is here on the rope climbs. All right, first thing you should be doing if you know you're going to be climbing lots of ropes Uh, in your workout is double knotting your shoelaces because I mean really you should be double knotting your shoelaces all the time you don't ever want a lace going straight on you but the way you're hooking the rope with your feet and the way you're sliding down if you're doing ropes efficiently has a tendency of pulling your laces apart if they're not tied tightly so always make sure you do that the last thing you want is to be stopping to tie your shoe up during a workout second thing that you're gonna want is shin protection. Either wear long socks or some people use knee sleeves that they put over one of their their legs or both. I usually just wear long socks. I don't really mess around with the knee sleeves, but um, whatever makes you feel more protected. If you're sliding again and you're, and you're doing a lot of rope climbs, you're just gonna get burns on your legs. It's just not worth it. <laughs> Um, unless you're gonna just drop straight from the top and never have any leg contact. But um, you should just, just save yourself the pain. All right, third thing is actually climbing the rope. So there's kind of two really common foot lock strategies. A lot of people do a J-hook or a lot of people do a heel lock. So I'll just kind of show you what both of those look like um, and sort of what the advantages and disadvantages are of them. So first thing I'm going to do is a, a J-hook. This is kind of one of the earlier strategies that I learned for climbing ropes. Uh, it can be really efficient. Generally, a really tight hook going up, but coming down, it's a little more work to unravel your feet. Um, so you can be a little slower going down sometimes. So what you're doing is you're scissoring the rope like this. The rope lays in front of your shin. And then you're hooking from underneath and pulling the rope on top like this. Sorry, I'm spinning around. So, I'll do that again for you. For me, my top foot is my left. And my right foot is going to form a J under my foot and then clamp it back on top. So left foot up rope in front of the shin and then wrapped around on top. That's a really solid lock. You can just stand, hang here, all the weights on the feet. Now something you'll see really efficient rope climbers do is climb well with their legs. Rope climbs are a pulling movement, but the more you can use your legs, the better off you're going to be. You've got so much more endurance in your legs than in your arms. So using those big muscle groups is really, really valuable. So if I can hook the rope really strongly with my feet and pull it under my body, I can just stand up. And you don't need to have this really wide out. I don't have to use my arms at all. And that's a great way to climb a rope. Now the same sort of strategies can be done for a heel lock. So I'll show you what that looks like. It's sort of the opposite position of your feet. When I do a toe, a J hook, I have the rope sitting in front of my shin. When I do a heel lock, I have it sitting the opposite. So from here, ropes in front here, and I'm just clamped there. Rope comes to the back of my heel, feet on top of each other, same thing. All the weight in my feet, really easy to stand. The advantage of the heel lock position is that you can just gently undo your feet a little bit, take some pressure off from between them, and you'll, you'll release the rope, you'll slide right down. So it's a really fast descent. So from here, I hook my feet, I stand. If I wanna come down, really easy, right? Don't have to move, but that's why you want long socks or a knee sleeve to protect your leg, because sliding down like that will burn the crap out of the back of your leg. Now, same strategy in terms of using your legs instead of your arms to climb. Really efficient way to climb. Get that lock, get your legs underneath you, stand up. 
I'm gonna do one fast, but you'll see that when I climb, after my feet are locked, I almost let go with both hands and move my arms up. It's sort of like this fast climb up, but you really can see that I'm not holding any tension in my arms. It's all in my legs. Right? So much of climbing a rope should be done with your legs, standing up, and save your arms. You do need the grip, you do need power sometimes in your arms, and especially initiating the pull, pulling the legs up really high so that I can lock here and stand. But when I'm here, I'll come around here. I wanna go from here, underneath, and up. And the faster you can do that, get your feet high, get them under your body, stand up, the more efficiently you're gonna climb a rope. So those are sort of the two pervasive strategies. J-hook, stand, or heel lock and stand. Heel lock's a little faster for the descent, but it's a little bit of a weaker clamp. So you've gotta have a really confident clamp on the rope if you're gonna do a heel lock really efficiently. But yeah, so I think that that to me is the best way to climb using your arms as little as possible. I tend to be very successful in rope climb workouts. And Pat Vellner will pick up his second event win and someone's climbed out of the hole. Workouts, and I think it's because I don't, I don't overuse my arms. I don't hold a lot of tension. When you're able to lock on the rope and be relaxed, you can breathe better, you can climb faster. Um, and yeah, it just pays off in the long run. So play around with some of those things. Um, what did I say? Rules, tire, double tire laces, wear long socks, use your legs, don't use your arms. And there you go. Three rules for climbing the rope efficiently. So there you go, guys. That's some tips on how to efficiently and quickly climb a rope. Uh, play around with some of those things. See what feels most comfortable to you, but just know um, it's like anything. It gets more comfortable the more you do it. It's like the first time you hook grip a barbell. It feel feel awkward and clumsy the first time you try some of those foot positions, um, but they get more and more comfortable the more you do them. So remember, double knot your laces, wear shin leg protection, and uh, use your legs. Don't use your arms, and you'll be very successful when it comes to climbing ropes. Have fun, guys.